Hey guys, Mark here, and today I've got a really cool keyboard to show you. A few months back, I was doing some research into how to wire up a real typewriter and then convert it into a keyboard that I could use for, say, my PC or a Mac, because I thought that would be a really cool DIY video to make, and I really love the look and feel of old typewriters. But in doing that research, I found this, the Quirky Writer S, a typewriter-inspired Bluetooth mechanical keyboard. This typewriter keyboard is the perfect blend of modern tech and vintage feel. Everything about this keyboard is extremely high quality and very reminiscent of the typewriters of old. The chassis is made entirely of aluminum, the keycaps are rounded with a metallic ring around them, and it's even got a functional carriage return lever and scroll knobs. This keyboard can either be used wired with the included braided USB-C cable or wireless through Bluetooth since it has a built-in battery. It also has a built-in stand for tablets and the 11-inch iPad Pro is the perfect fit here. I've been using this combination a lot lately to type up a lot of the scripts for my videos and I've been loving it. To simulate the sound and the feel of old typewriters, the company that makes this keyboard, Quirky Toys, used Cherry MX switches for that tactile feel and then combined it with those rounded keycaps that I mentioned earlier. Each one of these keycaps has a slight divot to it that your fingers can fit into perfectly and all of the keys are coated with this really rough texture that helps sell the feel of real metal. It's even got the red colored tab and delete keys that would be relatively common on the older typewriters. I thought the odd shape of the keys and the strange spacing between some of the keys would kind of make it difficult to use, but I actually got used to it very quickly and now I rarely ever miss a key or misspell a word because of the keyboard. It's legitimately a joy to type on. The keys do have a little bit of play to them, but the feel of the keys and the sound it produces more than makes up for it. There also doesn't seem to be any noticeable latency whatsoever via USB-C or Bluetooth when connected to any of my devices, which is great. Not that that matters a whole lot because it's not like you'd use this keyboard for gaming or something. Cherry MX Blues are much better for typing applications rather than gaming ones since they aren't a linear switch and they require a bit more force to push down. Underneath the keyboard, there are four rubber feet for ensuring that the keyboard doesn't slide around on your desk, and the back two feet are raised just a little bit by the thicker top portion that houses the battery, giving the entire keyboard a slight angle that makes it comfortable to type on. Speaking of that battery, I just wanna give a huge shout out to Quirky Toys for actually putting a user replaceable battery in here. If the battery inside gives out for some strange reason, you can unscrew these two screws, pop the battery out, and replace it with a new one easily. Tech products these days are often very difficult to repair yourself, and this kind of attention to detail ensures that this keyboard can have a very long-lasting life if you take good care of it. The battery life on this keyboard has been excellent too, and in all of my testing so far via Bluetooth, I haven't had to charge it yet. Quirky Toys claims that the battery will last up to a full month on a single charge, and given that it doesn't have any backlit keys or lighting effects, that makes sense. Just like on a normal typewriter, this keyboard also has a carriage return lever, which is set to the enter key by default. Now, I don't personally use this feature because it's a heck of a lot faster just to hit the enter key on the keyboard, but you can reprogram the carriage return to any string of up to 15 characters. I reprogrammed mine to command H on my iPad, which brings me back to the home screen very quickly. There are two knobs on either side of the typewriter that are also functional and do different things. The knob on the left will scroll up and down your document, and the knob on the right will change the volume of whatever device you're using. Unfortunately, the scrolling doesn't work on iOS right now, but there may be a fix for that in the near future. Even so, my favorite way to use this keyboard is with my 11-inch iPad Pro. When you turn the iPad sideways, the two devices almost look like they were made for each other. The bottom bezel fits perfectly inside the tablet holder groove, and in this orientation, the iPad Pro almost becomes a little portable desktop workhorse. But look, this is obviously a novelty product, right? I mean, the company that makes this product is called Quirky Toys, and this product is definitely a quirky toy. The number of people that are interested in both mechanical keyboards and old typewriters is probably pretty low, but it's a really cool novelty. If you do happen to fit into the small niche of people that are interested in this keyboard, you might be dissuaded by the price. After all, this is a niche product and the usual business strategy of selling niche products that don't move a whole lot of inventory is to sell it at a higher price to help cover the cost of making it. That higher price in this case is a whopping 290 US dollars. 
Even if this is a niche product though, I think the quality of this keyboard makes the high cost worth it if you're a hardcore typist or even just someone who really loves the style of this keyboard. If you're a bit of a hipster like I am and you love mechanical keyboards and old typewriters, this thing's for you. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to support my channel. And as always, have a great day.